Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating it's Monday, August 7th, 2017. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions and nature realms guardians. And a voice is interrupting us right now and saying, what do we know? And the question is about substitutions That's true. Uh, and I think I know what they're making the point about and it's about what is and what is not a nature realms guardian we've been working this past two weeks on the importance of properly defining the terms That's true. and we uh, what do we know we know it's especially important in times of low integrity to define our terms extremely accurately because many souls, many out-of-body presences or less dense presences are looking for any excuse whatsoever to do exactly what they want to do and pretend that they're doing what the situation calls for. That's true. Uh, somebody's arguing again. Uh, hmm. Uh, it's still true. That's true. That's actually true. That's a true statement. And in this particular case, I know the point this presence is trying to make. Way up high, please. Ah, you're arguing with the echo point. That's what's happening. Please look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. See that person way up there who's uh, waving in a kind of uh, grandiose manner? Yes. That's who's talking, that person making those grandiose gestures. There you go. That's the soul. It might be an aspect of the wizard. That's it's true. possible. It has that kind of pitch. It could be somebody else similar, but I, somebody else is arguing and saying they don't know anyone else who is similar to the wizard. That's a uh, good point. And I can see that point. What now? What now? What now? That presence who's making the grandiose gestures yes. is continuing and is talking about the difference between a nature realm's guardian and that other presence who was uh, coming into this airspace under the guise of being a quote nature realm's guardian but was encouraging uh, nature realms presence is to grow a cover over the top of the nature realms and a metaphor would be out of control grapevines just growing a cover over the nature realms so that nobody above could see what was going on in here and then she was being revolting and demanding obeisance from presences and was just being as selfish and uh, greedy and lazy and uh, all the other typical errors that sentiences in all presences make. And listen, I can hear the tone of bigotry that's embedded in the way the question is being worded right now and you're yes, making it sound true. like this is something that's unique to uh, the nature realms and it's not at all. This identical bigotry, look, we've oh, felt it in spirit world presences too. That's true. Is there a Leo up there? Where's the highest Leo we can connect with right now? Yeah, that feels I better. That feels better. Hi. He's so sad. I know, it's, it's terrible. What now? What now? Okay, he's saying pull this up. Just grab yeah. these strands of the remains of that presence. Uh, and th somebody's asking, who is that presence? It seems to be a really devolved Asha, uh, somebody we call a fat Asha, That's an Asha true. who's gone lazy and greedy and selfish, which is unfortunate. And she seems to have uh, played on the claims of her status as queen of the nature realms, quote unquote. Uh, in a way that's unfortunate that's true. and she's in the getting in the way of doing what the situation actually calls for she's not acting heroic and somebody's asking what the definition of a hero is what we've been told is heroes take selfless courageous actions on behalf of the greater good yes it's true and and what do i know I know that Asha used to do that. She That's really true. did. But I also know that some time ago, maybe around January or February of 2015, 
she decided she had done enough and it was somebody else's turn and she had done an awful lot That's and I'm not true. arguing that she didn't do a lot yeah. but do you see any divine plan manifesting do you see worlds that work or do you see worlds that are going to hell in a handbasket faster than fast worlds that are going to hell in a handbasket hell in a handbasket there doesn't seem to be any divine plan manifesting a divine plan is a plan which has already been defined. Oh, okay, they're arguing with what yeah, a plan lots is. Of all right, all right, we can start again. A plan is a coordinated progression of protocols that, when properly executed, will create the assigned outcome. Just got very quiet. And a divine plan is a plan that we just defined that creates worlds that work in all dimensions for all sentiences for all categories of sentiences now they're saying well do you mean just people like me no mm. no we mean everybody this rock is a sentience That's true. Uh, that bird bath is a sentience That's true. Uh, everything is sentient and everything literally means everything these chimes are sentient. That's the wind true. is sentient. Let's bifurcate all of us who really want to know what's actually going on to the search for truth central axis. Oh, all others true. flung away. And we just seem to have a crowd of arguers today. That's true. And now they're saying, what do you think you're doing? We've explained this so many times before. Please That's look true. up. Please look up. You seem to be arguing with the echo point once more. Look up. A bifurcation is simply a process of activating the law of attraction and repulsion. We are pushing ourselves away from things that are not a match for ourselves and what we are seeking. We can't push away things that are closer to what we're seeking than we are. No, that, that isn't how the law of attraction works. But we can push away things that are less a match for what we're seeking than we are. And we're seeking those who really want to know what's actually going on. So anybody who, and now they're still arguing. Arguing, lots of loud arguing. Anybody who wants to know what's actually going on less than we do. And who is we? Boy, they're arguing with everything. everything. Uh, we are, please look up. The we is that voice. See that voice? He's saying it so clearly. And That's he's flashing true. his ID badge. Uh, waving flags. Waving flags. That guy and everybody who's working with that guy, whoever that is, uh, him, and everybody who's working with him. That guy and his team. That's who. I feel looking up feeling. They don't want to acknowledge that it's true. They want to pretend it's not true. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, so this is kind of like denial of higher powers. Yeah, that's true. Um, it doesn't actually work. It might work in the short term, but when our experiences of sentience end, as is, is inevitable, we will transition from a denser dimension to a less dense dimension. That's true. And <laughs> right into the that. laps of the higher powers who actually have power over our lives. They actually do, and they have power over our rebirths. Heads up, friends. Arguing doesn't make it go away. This is the reality. They seem to be having the disconnect that, quote, there is no God, unquote. Yes. That's true. And they're arguing mm -hmm. that, well, mm -hmm. I see lots of dead people in my own dimension who haven't mm -hmm. gone up into less dense dimensions, so maybe mm -hmm. they don't have to have their meeting with God. And maybe if I just hang around here after I die, I won't have my meeting with God. No, it's coming. The longer we put it off, the worse it is. That's true. It's coming. You're just racking up more and more and more bad karma. It's still coming. The day of accounting is coming for all of us without exception. That's true. The longer we put it off, the worse we make it for ourselves. But that day of accounting is still coming. That's true. Wow, these people. That's true. Let's just, let's just pump up dead no. children and their environments up to that presence who's making the gestures. 
Here you go. Here's data for you. And meanwhile, it evacuates the dead children from the deeper, denser dimensions. That's true. Now I see again that blobby, fatty substance in those caverns down deep in I the nature that, realms. Stuff. Let's just get that up and out and o or burn it because it doesn't seem to go past the shoulders. We can't get it up past the shoulders, That's but we true. can burn it to propel the dead children into that room where that guy is making those gestures. That feels really good. All right. It's propulsion. Juice it and burn it. They're saying, what is that globby fat stuff we're burning? What is that stuff? I don't know. I don't know. But it's not correct. It doesn't belong. It clogs airflow. That's true. That doesn't matter most. The question is, what now? What now in order to manifest an actual divine plan for all dimensions, no matter what anyone else does or doesn't do, since that's what our soul contracts commit us to doing. And the answer to that is, burn that flat, fat, globby stuff. Burn it. We can burn it. The answer is not figure out what that stuff is. The answer is burn it. I don't know what it is. Let's burn it. And while we're burning it, if you can figure it out, you get extra credit. How about that? But the extra credit only counts if you burned it. Burn it first, extra credit second. Is it oh, please stop arguing with the echo point. Look up, look up, look up, you fool. Look up, you fool.